I could work out all the details. You don't say? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. So they're forced to stay here? deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. Ugh, I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Please, they don't seem so tough. Then you haven't been paying close enough attention. Or you're cocky. Either way, bad business. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Good luck with getting home. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. I am so 
So, so sorry. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. Don't you understand? This is huge. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shall? <sighs> Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind... That book you're reading? Hand it over. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> wow. Ooh, that was so scary. I almost fell over. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah. And this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. And you expect me to just hand it over? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better. Yeah, hand it over, meathead. And slam the immovable! Get out of here before I use this book to punch your face in. Fine. I just want to get through one more chapter. <laughs> Hey, you are that crazy person in Extreme's belief. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Jesse, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, know where the nether portal is? Yeah, it's right over that way. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? Aha, uh -huh, there's our <laughs> nether portal. Hey, Jesse, finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, their face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meets watch. That
That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Get my friends now. Face meat doesn't negotiate with meanies. Well, there is something you could do. Face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat'll think about getting your friends out. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. I need to get my friends out of the mines. Okay, let me guess. Face meat skipped lunch again. I've got a secret stash of wheat? Let's see if we can feed the beast. Shut <laughs> Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. 